Hi there, welcome back. For those of you who haven't seen our previous video, my name is Dusham, this is my colleague, colleague Minigas. And in the last video we showed you how to perform a manual engine start procedure. Uh, we've pushed back uh, from the gate at Zurich Airport, we've started engine number two. And today we will do the cross-blade engine start of the engine number one. Yep. So we've already obtained the clearance for the high idle start last time from the ATC, so there's no need to do it again this time. Ground from cockpit. Go ahead. Confirm engine number one is clear for start. Area behind is clear and engine as well. Okay, okay, starting engine number one. Okay, cross bleed engine start checklist. Cross bleed engine start. Caution, do not perform the cross bleed engine start procedure during pushback. Simultaneous use of uh, bleed supply and external pneumatic power supply is prohibited. Uh, one engine must be running in order to supply air for other engine start. Okay. Yep. Before second engine start, APU bleed off. APU bleed off. Uh, engine bleed of the supplying engine on. On. Engine bleed of the receiving engine off. Off. Uh, cross bleed open. Cross bleed open. When clear to start, uh, area clear of optics, obstacles, uh, confirm. Okay, confirmed is cleared, we received. Yep. Uh, thrust lever of the supplying engine uh, adjust for bleed pressure. Okay, so, so Dushan is now adjusting uh, the thrust lever position so that we get about uh, 30 psi on the lower ECAM display initially and then 25 psi for the engine start. Okay. Yep, that's good. Uh, receiving engine, start. Uh, apply the normal engine start procedure. Engine mode uh, selector, ignition start. Ignition start. Engine master one, on. Engine master one, on. And so right now we can see that uh, the N2 is increasing, uh, the pressure is increasing, and we will just have to wait until the engine spools up to idle power. Okay, we see the EGT rising, N2 is rising as well. Okay. We're good to go. Uh, after start, uh, thrust lever of the supplying engine uh, should be idle. Idle. Idle, yep. Uh, cross bleed auto. Cross bleed auto. Uh, engine bleed of the receiving engine uh, on. Engine number one bleed on. Pack one on. Pack one is on. Pack one, pack two, correction, on. Pack two is on. Uh, that is it. Okay. Okay, this was the after start flow. The commander initiates the after start flow by moving the engine mode selector from ignition to start. He then uh, checks the APU bleed and the anti ice then turns off the uh, APU itself. Well, and the first officer arms the ground spoilers, checks that the rudder trim is zero, sets uh, takeoff flaps, and turns on the uh, flight control page which for whatever reason wasn't on, uh, and sets the takeoff trim. Okay. Okay, after start checklist. After start checklist. Uh, Anti-ice. Anti-ice off. Ecam status. Ecam status check. Yeah. Pitch trim. Pitch trim. Fuel prediction. Uh, pitch trim. 0 0.8 units up. Uh, rudder trim. Rudder trim zero. After start checklist completed. Okay. Ready for the flight controls? Yep. Okay. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. 
Full right. Neutral. Rather check. Go ahead. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Okay, so the pilot flying has done his flight controls check. And at this moment, the pilot monitoring is performing, performing his flight control checks, however non-verbally. All right, so that was it for the Crossbleed engine start video, and we will be taking off to Hamburg. So yeah. see you until then. Thanks for watching, and if you want to comment anything, please uh, feel free to do so. Thank you. Bye.